Hello everyone, I have a new report for you today, one that's coming from Canic Chase, uh, a notorious area here in the UK. I received this monitoring report from a young lady, sent it to me in email, and she contacted me after she came across BBR online and realised that I may be able to shine some light on an incident that took place in her teens when she visited Canic Chase. Now it's known for its cryptid, paranormal and unexplained activity and our witness is among the many who have left there with the story to tell. The event has stayed with her for the last 17 years and she's finally shared it publicly and she said Hey Deb, I'd like to report a sighting to you that happened some years ago now. I came across you and your YouTube channel a few years back when I'd been having a sudden urge to look into something that I'd witnessed. I was about 17 when this happened, I'm 35 now. I was with my first boyfriend at the time in his car, which was a little silver Corsa. We were driving down one of the roads through the chase on our way back home. And we used to go for a drive and walk around the chase every week sometimes with a few friends in their cars or sometimes alone, you know, as a young couple do. If we went up there for some alone time, it was normally, you know, mostly at night. So anyway, Late one night, we're driving back home down one of the long 50 mile an hour roads that cuts through the chase. It was a clear, quiet night. There were no other cars on the road other than us. And then all of a sudden, what seemed to have come from nowhere was this creepy, hairy, ugly looking creature. And it was standing in the middle of the road, in front of the car, staring at us. My boyfriend had to slam the brakes on to avoid ploughing into it. He stopped millimetres away from it. It didn't move an inch. It just stood there in the headlights, staring at us for what felt like ages as we both just sat there frozen. In reality, it must have been about 15 or 20 seconds and it just stood there upright on its hind legs. And then it got weirder when the creature grinned at us before walking over to the other side of the road and disappearing into the bushes. It was at that moment that me and my boyfriend spoke. He turned to me and said, What the fuck was that? And I said, I don't know, but it looks like the offspring of a monkey that shagged a fox. I'm so glad the bonnet of the car was in between us and it that night. It was by far the most shocking and surrealist moment of my life. And I've never experienced paranormal moments like that. I had some as a child and a teenager, but never anything in the flesh and blood like that thing. I always believed, knew that we're not alone in this realm, but that creature shook me to the core. It was not long after that sighting, when I turned 18 and moved into my first home, that I stopped tuning into my spiritual side, which I've always naturally done as I've always been, you know, intrigued for now after that. Seeing that creature scared me that much. I stopped. I no longer wanted to know. I wanted to share my sighting with someone genuine for a while now, as I know it needs to be reported or logged properly, as I can see the sightings are getting more frequent. I just hope it doesn't show itself again. I wish I could remember which road we were on, but I can't. Maybe my boyfriend can all I can remember was it was dark, it was a really long road and there were trees on my side, on the left side, which is where I think the creature must have come from, unless it just appeared. After doing some digging and listening to some of your reports, I came to the realisation and certainty that A, there would have been others that have seen this dogman creature too, or something similar to it, and B, there is so much more living out there in our forests, the green corridors and waterways, than we even realise. And three, you know, the government, military and police must know a lot more about these creatures. And it seems they've been withholding this information from the public for a long time. You got me thinking though, Deb. Why did it not just wait until the car had gone by and we wouldn't have seen it? Why did it step out into the road? or appear in front of the car like that. I think it wanted to be seen. Why the grin? Have you had any reports of other cryptids grinning or smiling? 
I've had a few paranormal things happen to me throughout life, especially when I was younger, and I'm sure it comes from mum. I have heard of um, other cases like this, a recent one actually in the northeast of England, where the witness said the creature who sounds very much like this, the one that this young couple saw, leant down and looked at her and grinned and then took off into the woodland. And as you know, there are many, many reports at Kite Chase, far too many for me to mention here. But if you're one of the witnesses out there that still hasn't reported their experience, please get in touch. I'd love to hear from you, as would all the other witnesses. Good night, everyone.